Zahara, bro, the SARS are coming for Zahara, eh? Even in death. The SARS wants their money from Sahara, and obviously now they're going to attach the properties. I think she owes them three million rands. What I do know about SARS, man, if you don't engage and plan over a period of time to say, okay, I owe you five rand. Can I pay you guys one rand over the next five months? You, it's, the joke is on you. There's no institution, especially that is maybe a SOE or a bank, anyone that will not sit and amicably look for a solution. Cause it's the, yeah, because it's their money. It's in their best interest to engage you and have an arrangement. Thank you. And, and we are afraid to talk about these things. And I'm, I, I, I've owed, uh, it, like SARS before, you sit, you plan, you say, okay, over a period of 12 months, I am prepared to pay this, but you have to honor it. Because if you miss a day or a second, don't even think that you will redeem the situation. Because this is what you committed to. And it's sad, man. Like, uh, I love my sister. I will never speak foul of the dead. But, um... No, but the truth is the truth. The truth does not necessarily... Uh, it's not for me to take something on the base of it being true to warrant my opinion on somebody's negligence, even though... Um, there are many factors that contributed to that. She was a wounded artist from inception. Yeah. So her focus was not in building her financial IQ. I think her focus was in healing. And she has done okay. more enough in her career to heal me, to qualify me to sit here and talk foul of her. I'm not going to do that. Mm. Mm. No, no one is saying talk foul. No, I won't. Don't hold back on the truth that somebody else may benefit, though, yeah. off of the situation. Because, like, you even have experience yeah, well, with SARS and all these things. Yeah, they can go to Momentum.co.za. I, I did a beautiful campaign with them on financial literacy. Uh, by shouting them out, they'll put money on the show. Don't worry. Um, mm -hmm. So I'm not just saying it out there. But there's a lot of information, guys, that is very much of help that mm -hmm. you can uh, harness from some of these institutions that can help us. We are too young in this money game, bro. Yeah, man, it's so sad. Imagine you losing a whole breadwinner in your family, and then you think, oh, we, at least we have a paid-off house. Exactly. You know, we've gained a paid-off house for the family yeah. to move the family forward. All the other kids are going to come study this side, have now a place of residence, and then Sarah says, whips. Yeah. It's very Fucked good. Where you pass, guys, the, the state is entitled to 20% of everything you own. First of all, let's start there. Before anybody that you owe gets their money, the state, before your kids, before your wife, before your husband, Real. the state has to take 20% of your entire. Now, who, Why? whoever, I'll tell you, that. the executor of your will yep. takes 3.5% yep. after the state takes how much? 20%. 20, yeah. Plus VAT of the 3.5, that makes it 4.2%. Mm -hmm. okay. okay? Okay. So let's put the math. 